negative keywords are one of the easiest ways to double or even triple sales for your e-commerce brand with Google Ads. But problem is most e-commerce brand owners don't even know how to utilize them the right way. And as a result, they end up completely overlooking them. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what they are, the best strategies to find them within your ad accounts, and most important of all, how to add them to your performance max campaigns, because this alone can literally supercharge your performance max campaigns and make it scale much faster. But before we get into any of that, let's take a step back and understand exactly what negative keywords are. So you want to think of keywords or negative keywords essentially as parasites within your ad account, because that's essentially what they are. Any keyword that's basically going to be a negative keyword within your ad accounts is that specific keyword, which number one is not relevant to what you sell. Number two may it's probably relevant, but hasn't gotten you enough sales. As a result, you need to add it as a negative keyword or number three, it's just wasting your money at this point. It's not even doing anything. It crossed your profit margins without any returns at all. These are all bad keywords, essentially, which bring down the entire quality of your ad account, because anytime you have keywords running within your ad account, which are not getting you sales, this is a direct signal to Google's algorithm that, hey, this keyword is not bringing this brand sales. Maybe there's something wrong with this brand, hence why these kinds of keywords are not bringing sales to this brand, especially if they're already relevant to what you sell. So you have to keep all of these things in mind. But there's two different techniques to find negative keywords. Technique number one is the inside section within your ads account. So on your Google Ads dashboard, if you just go to the insights and report section, and then if you change the time period to last 28 days, scroll down just a little bit until you get to this section right here, which is basically the search term inside section. This is the keyword section where you can find a lot of keywords which are either positive for your brand or they're negative. And if you open this drop down menu, it will show you exactly where you're ranking, how many sales it got, what's the search volume, etc. You can look between conversions, clicks, impressions, etc. Now, obviously, you want to be going through this list all the way to the back and you want to be understanding which keywords are not ideal. But also, you could do the same thing by just opening this drop down and then understanding from here what really getting your sales versus what you shouldn't even be ranking for. But from there, what you want is you want a list of all the irrelevant keywords, basically keywords that got zero sales despite spending maybe $10, maybe $25. I like to keep around this range because if you let every single one of these keywords spend your entire profit margin, you're going to be unprofitable very, very quickly. But essentially just letting it spend a decent amount of money. And then from there, adding it to the negative keywords list is the way to go. But this is the first way to find your negative keywords. Now, technique number two is via a standard shopping campaign or a search campaign. Now, in those situations, again, similar kind of approach where you would go inside the standard shopping campaign right here. If you click keywords, it's not going to let you see the individual keywords right here. You can just add the negative keywords directly. But if you go to insights and reports, again, just for that specific standard shopping campaign, you'll be able to see some keyword information coming up right like right here. And then from there, you can further understand on that near over level what's working versus what's not working and from there you can go about doing the negative keyword exclusion process but those are two simple ways to really find the keywords which deserve to be negative and again not every keyword deserves to be negative it's only those that are again relevant to what you sell or are losing you money those are the two top criteria but let's say you make a list of all the negative keywords and you now know that you want to add these to the performance max campaigns well in this situation first and foremost don't go beyond 25 to 50 negative keywords at any given an optimization kind of phase because if you added 100 different negative keywords to the list maybe some of them were getting you sales maybe some of them weren't hadn't been tested enough and if you do it too aggressively it can kind of destroy the reach of your performance max given which is why i only recommend you to add negative keywords every 14 days or so but essentially the way to add them is to go to this specific link right here i'll have this in the description below but all you need to do is fill out all of this information right over here so where it says contact name you'll obviously be writing all the necessary information in this case i would just write my name right here and the end customer company name essentially what is the com name of the company being advertised so your brand name itself is what you would write over here make sure this is the same as what's in the google ad settings but from here it's going to ask you if you have an admin or sender access to the account just say the appropriate thing and then add your customer id in and from there you want to request a specific type of change so the first change is what you can do adding negative keywords is what we want to do so you will just click on that one then you can add the negative keywords to the account level or the campaign level account level means 
all of your future performance max commits will run based on those negative keywords now and all of them will have always these negative keywords which you add on the account level excluded on the campaign level you can choose individual campaigns where you want that to happen but if you do account level then it, obviously it's going to do it for the entire account but then here you can basically exclude the keywords or change keyword match type we want to choose the first option and then from here you need to submit a file which basically this request template tells you how you need to fill it up the right way what kind of information it should have within this file so if we open up this file right here we can get a very good idea of exactly how things should be all you need to do is just fill out the file right here with the appropriate information and it will kind of guide you here based on what needs to be done there's different kind of sections to this so you want to choose a specific appropriate section so if it's keywords at the account level this is what you would be filling out and then once you do that then basically going back here choosing that file to submit and it's as simple as that it's literally that's it once you're done with this, then the keywords will be added by a real Google Ads account specialist. And then from there, you can again do it every 14 days or so. But that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. If you run a brand doing a million dollars a year, you need extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me. And let's see if we can potentially work together and make that happen. But check out this case study I did of a brand, which we applied a similar negative keyword strategy to and ended up blowing it to multi seven figures per year.